we have to be certain that opportunity, opportunities do not lead to exploitation. I'm sure that the people of Norway will be with us in our efforts to make sure that new opportunities for our country will mean new happiness, better justice, greater unity, and peace for all our peoples. In Bergen today, I have seen peoples from all parts of Burma, our ethnic national nationalities, all those people who make up a union. But we have yet to achieve a true union. To achieve this, this true union, we must learn to live together, to work together, to trust one another, and to respect one another. And you in Bergen have taught us many lessons about mutual respect, mutual trust. It is because you have respect for other human beings, as human beings and not as people from your own society, that you have provided such a warm sanctuary for peoples so different from you. Coming here along the way, I saw people from all parts of the world, from all continents. They look very different from the Norwegians, but isn't it wonderful that you have taken them to your hearts as though they were exactly like you? And that is what we need, a human to human relationship. I can't deny it, but you have warmed it for me with your affection, your generosity, and actually what I think of as your gaiety in spite of the weather. <laughs> I'm very impressed by the strength with which Norwegians stand up to the weather. And I find that some of, our, some of the people from our country are doing exactly that. I don't think I could sit there like them with short sleeves now. But they have learned to be Norwegian. They have learned to be part of the country that has given them sanctuary. I would like to say, say now that I'm very grateful to the people of Bergen, not just for what you have done for me, but for what you have done for all the peoples of Burma. It's not just the people here that you're helping. By your generosity, by not just the warmth of your heart, but the strength of your principles, you are giving us very valuable lessons. We have to think, if people far away in Bergen can give such refuge such security to our people, why cannot our own government provide, it, provide us with the same kind of security? This is a question we have to ask of all governments to assure both the security and the freedom of the people. You cannot use security as an excuse for depri depriving people of freedom, nor can you use freedom as an excuse for destroying other people's right to security. So a healthy balance between security and freedom is what we want for all our people. And it is what you have. And what you have, you have shared with us so generous, generously, so warmly, that I do not think thank you is enough to express what I feel. But thank you is the only thing I know how to say. So thank you. <laughs> this is not the last time that I shall be able to come to Bergen to say thank you. I hope that there will be many occasions when I can come back and and learn to know Bergen, because I can't say that I've learned to know Bergen within the last few hours. I've just been to a very few places here. I would like to come back. I would like to spend time in Bergen. I would like to know what kind of city this is that has produced such people as you. And it was the first time I realized that there were people in this world who thought that what we were struggling for was worth the struggle. It made me realize that we were not alone, that we had friends and supporters in places that, well, I'd only heard of Bergen before in relation to marzipan, 
But uh, after the prize, I knew that there was much more to Bergen than just marzipan. And I'm very happy to discover so much more today. I have discovered so much more today, but not enough. I said at the beginning that I do not know when this journey to Bergen started. But one thing I can say is that my journey to Bergen will never come to an end. Thank you very much.